Welcome to Quick Bites. Sim the world here making some five star dishes and cooking simulator. Today we're going to go through one that gave me some woes in the campaign. It's the hamburger. Yeah, this guy was really tough. I never did it quite right. Today we're going to take a look at that. So to start off, we're just going to follow things in order. We're going to put the top and bottom bun on a baking tray and stick that in the oven. I'm going to wait to set the timer. We're going to cook those all together at once. Next step is to season the burger with three grams and pep, uh, three grams of salt and pepper each. So let's go put on three grams of salt and three grams of pepper. Perfect. And we're going to fry this in the pan. I, there's still some ketchup in there. Uh, let's clean that out just a little bit. As you guys know, I do do a little testing before we, before I record this to make sure we get the five stars. That, that was some residue less, left from last time. All right, so before I start cooking everything, we need to talk about the slices. So we need to talk about cutting up things. So... I turn on the, this is sandbox mode. This is in the campaign, so there's no timers. I use perks, uh, I, I should do on breakable plates. So I have steady hands, uh, things don't break, I can see the temperatures. But other than that, there aren't any of the other items uh, or the other skill points. So none of that stuff is unlocked, so that means I'm judged the hardest, there's uh, no leniency, but this should give you an idea how to do it perfectly. That way when you start earning those skill points, uh, you get a little leeway on these items. And I say that because I've gone through and tested, and for the burger to get the five stars, you need 20 gram pieces and 25 grams of cheddar. Like these cuts have to be on point. So I'm gonna to try to show you how I try to eyeball it. As you can see, I have pieces set aside here. Um, I did that in order to try to make the video quick, as the name implies. But what I do, uh, the tomato and onions are both 120 gram pieces. So I'll actually cut them in the middle, then come on either side, just a little bit, Try to line that up. And as you can see, it takes a few tries to get this quite right. I don't think we can do any smaller pieces. Yeah, that's 15. I kind of just split it in half. So it, it takes a few tries to get this right. Oh, that's close. That's 19 grams. So I think 19 might be all right. Don't quote me on that. As for the cheddar, what I like to do with the cheddar I'm doing something different than I did in the series. So first I try to get a 25 gram piece out of the butt. If that works, it's great. If not, I actually start slicing it long ways. Just like a little edge. As you can see, this piece is 38 grams, a little too much. Get another slice, that's 15, not enough and it's broken. So play around with it. Again, in preparation phase or in the cleanup phase, this is a perfect time just to grab some of these items and prep them beforehand. That way they're all ready to go. And while we talk about that, let's get these two items cooking. Yeah, because nothing is worse than not having, you know, the right, the right amount of items already taken care of. I know I've mentioned it in other videos. I really wish, like, some upgraded knives. Like, you could start cutting where, you know, you start at one end and move the mouse over, and it tells you how much you're cutting into it. These are done, ready to go. Let's bring these over here. Right on top of the cheese. That's not going to melt it, right? 
hot pan. This burger is almost ready to flip. And if you've watched the series, you know, and if you haven't watched my series going through this, first perk you need to unlock is to pick things up with your bare hands. These spatulas don't work at all. Like this is absolutely trash. I hate them. They need just to disappear. And we're gonna let this burger cook for another 50 seconds. And the burger is done. Let's turn off the heat. Let's grab our ketchup. Now I have did some testing with this. Make sure that 10 milliliters hits the burger meat. I know when you're drizzling it down, it said it was higher. Some of it's going in the pan and some of it's hitting the burger. That's an easy way to miss. And if you don't have the exact proportions, you won't get the five stars. Another thing that you have to use is, I guess you don't have to use it uh, to get the five stars, but boy, does it make things a lot easier to stack. It's the skewer. Get the medium skewer. That way you can stack these and it stays and it won't like shake around weirdly because of sort, you know, weird sorts of issues. Is that not going to let us pick up the cheese? Oh, there we go. Perfect. You see, sometimes even I don't know all the answers. Sometimes these just don't work out quite right. Ooh, look at that. So I think this burger should be good to go. We followed the directions specifically to a point. We sliced out everything perfectly. I don't know how this is not going. Yeah, we got the five stars. As you can tell, I've gone through this a few times because no matter what, you know, even if I was off by a couple milligram cuts, they weren't giving me the perfect. So get your skill points up. Uh, make sure to pre-cut before your next day. That way you're ready to go. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you guys are struggling with any other dishes, be sure to put that down in the comments. I'll take a look at those. Uh, we're going to try to go through a lot of these, a lot of the more difficult ones. But if you need something quickly, let me know. I'm game to try them. But with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.